Hello and welcome to the online service of Nambour Anglican Parish. Through this online service, we pray you find encouragement in your walk with God. May God bless you today as you join your spirit with God's spirit in worship and fellowship. When you hear the word authority, what do you think of? Yes, getting into trouble. We had the school kids at the service this morning and um, and they're like going, teachers. <laughs> and then one yelled out, my dad. <laughs> yeah, police next door. Yeah, authority. But when you think of God's kingdom, what do you think of when you hear the word authority? Yeah, reverence. Authority in worldly sense has this connotation of power and control, whereas in um, biblical in the gospel values it is about God's power and presence and what do we know about God's kingdom values they are life-giving and they're love it's all about love we hear that in the prayer of the day that Jesus went beyond all things in compassion and love for others and that's what we hear in the gospel today in the reading from Corinthians how are you going with that Russ Ross or Russ? Ross. I know, it's like a lot of food sacrifice to idols. But basically, that Bible, those, that reading there, helps us as a Christian community to know, I could have all of the knowledge in the world. I could have all of these letters and doctorates and after myself. But if I don't have love, I am nothing. That goes on further in 1 Corinthians about, you know, love is patient, love is kind. And if you, you can be a, a, a clangy, noisy symbol but if you don't have love you're nothing so knowledge puffs up like pfft, ego but what builds up love love builds up so that's important for this community during this transition stages of of you know of waiting for the next leader of the flock but you're all leaders we are all ministers of God but waiting for your ordained priest to come and that's it like how do we build each other up in love and you know, quite often when people think they've got a lot of knowledge, it's like, I know what I know and I want you to know what I know because you're going to listen to me. But that's not done in love and humility, is it? No. So we hear the authority, the power and the presence of Jesus in the gospel reading. And Mark's gospel, this is like, this is the season is of epiphany, which is about how Jesus is revealed to us. We heard recently Jesus' baptism and what did that reveal to us? That he was the son, he is the son of God. The Holy Spirit rested upon him. Last week he called people to go and be fishers of people and today we now hear Jesus' authority and power over evil spirits. So the first demonstration in the Gospel of Mark sets the tone for the Gospel of Mark this year because it doesn't begin with a healing or you know turning water into wine or preaching or teaching with people it begins with casting out evil spirits Jesus power drives out possessive spirits and that's where this symbol here authority Jesus is author of our God is author of our lives and we Jesus has authority which is the servant the one who comes in love, obedient to death, even death on a cross, for the love for all of God's people. Now Jesus in the Gospel of Mark here is going into the most unexpected places and dangerous places with the spirit which he is possessed with. What spirit is he possessed with and what spirit are we possessed with? The Holy Spirit, exactly. So and his power was going to be manifested, which it did. The demonic, the demon possessed, tries to take hold of God's divine promise for us all. And what is God's divine promise? For through salvation, through Jesus, is about freedom, liberation, setting free from anything that is binding us to live for God's 
life, God's values, to encourage, build up each other. And, and this was, these are boundary disputes. So when Jesus spoke to this, and I love the way you um, proclaimed the gospel, Winston, because you were getting into the, the moment, because the demon wouldn't have gone, yeah, what do you have to do with us, Jesus? It would have been fully loud, and then Jesus' response would have been in authority. Do you know when someone speaks with authority, it's like, oh, I listen, because it's like God's spirit is with them, within them. So he was challenging what was possessing the people of that day which was he, at the beginning of the gospel reading, he, Jesus, comes on the Sabbath day into the synagogue. Oh. So he was challenging the powers, the authority of the day to say, no, like this man, I believe Jesus had compassion for the person who was demon-possessed, wanted him to be set free, especially on the Sabbath. What do we know about other Sabbath healing stories of Jesus? The man with the withered hand, you know, and other people bent over. He wants them to be released so that they can worship fully. So that is the compassion of Jesus. Now we think of where does evil exist in our world? And some people might go, no, there's no evil, like this demon possessed. Um, if you've ever been involved, we have a... a a, a group in the diocese with a diocesan exorcist. Um, this is real. This is a reality. You may not have experienced it, but it does exist. And it's like, how do we then equip ourselves to know that um, we are children of God? And I shared a story this morning, which I will now. In my home church, Banyo, in Brisbane, one afternoon I was like out in the back cupboard, like I was to the side of the hall, and I just felt this sense of, of uh, yuck, darkness and heaviness. And I was fearful, thinking, this is not of God. And I just called out, in the name, I won't get too close to the microphone, in the name of Jesus, go. And guess what? The heaviness that I felt, the yuck, all just was released. A mum came to me this morning with her son, who um, is being challenged at the moment, he's 19. And she said that he did something and spoke to her in a strange voice one night, just sat up in bed, and she said, I am Fiona, a child of God. You go and be at peace. So these things do exist. But what other evil do we see in the world? What's going on at the moment? War, the senseless killing of, of lives over what greed power all the things that the worldly authority has so Jesus is with us we have this hope of Jesus power and delivering us from evil when we pray the Lord's Prayer that's I do it daily as a meditation it takes me about 45 half an hour to get through it but it's like Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Jesus prays with us. He prays alongside us and for us. So how do we imagine Jesus' power from the power, power described today in the gospel? How do we imagine Jesus' power or what he is capable of doing? Nothing is impossible because of the power that he has from God. Look at how he was tempted out in the wilderness. And he used nothing for his own power and authority. It was all for God. Are we full of the spirit and Jesus' power and authority in our lives? And where do we let God in again? When we create our own boundaries or other people may try to impose boundaries on us, where do we let God in on those boundaries to open us up to healing transformation. How do we apply this to our lives? Committing to daily prayer, encouraging one another, building up each other in love, seeking divine guidance and God's authority in our decisions, God's authority over all we do. It's like a blanket over our whole life. 
of what we do, recognising the wisdom and the greatness of God in our interactions with others, and it's about letting love guide our actions, especially when knowledge might lead to stumbling blocks, as we heard in the Corinthians reading. So it's about walking in the authority of Jesus, confidently sharing his transformative message and standing against anything that opposes his divine mission. So let's put the authority of Jesus on. Amen. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you what is pleasing in his sight, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace, filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Christ. Amen. watching today. We hope it has been an encouragement to you for your spiritual life. Please subscribe to this channel. Also, if you would like to support us financially, you can click the link in the description below. Thank you for joining us. God bless.